my name is Ivana and I work for an organization called Girls Inc. We inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. And today we are bringing you a pretty bold and fun game that you can make at home with simple materials that you may already have. And if you don't have the exact materials that I'm using, you can substitute with things that you have at home. So stay tuned and watch us and see how you can play this game. So for today's video and for today's game, we're going to need some paper plates. Mine are pretty thin, so I have four of them, two for each petal right here. Then I also have some tape. It could be any tape. I just happen to have this uh, pretty duct tape that I bought at Dollar Tree a really long time ago, so some tape. I have two popsicle sticks. Again, if you do not have popsicle sticks, you can use maybe recycled popsicle sticks from a you know, popsicle that you already ate and collect two of them. And these are going to help because ultimately what we're making is a balloon game that has paddles, so kind of like a paddle balloon game. So we need two, one per paddle. So I have these two. Again, if you don't have popsicle sticks or craft sticks, plastic fork would work. Um, even a real fork, just make sure you don't throw it away. Things like that would work. You also need some scissors, and that's to cut the tape to make it easier if you don't have scissors, and that's totally fine. Um, and then for my ball, instead of you know playing paddle ball, I'm going to be using balloons. Now, if you don't have balloons, you can try it with a ball. The paper plate might be too um, flimsy for that, but you can trade that for something different. Maybe you have um, a box that you cut up and use as a paddle. That could be a little stronger and can totally hit um, a ball. But I have balloons. You can also, um, you know, put a paper a paper ball and crumble it up and use that as your ball or foil. So there's so many possibilities. But for me, it's a balloon, tape, craft sticks, and four paper plates. Again, if I wanted to make this really cool, I would totally decorate that. But I think that I'm gonna make mine just plain. So because I have two paper plates, I wanna make sure that those stick together. It's just basically reinforcing my paddle. Well, these are pretty thin. If you have the thicker paper plates, you probably don't even have to reinforce them. Then I'm gonna use some of my tape. So I guess I am putting a little decoration because I'm gonna make sure that these are taped together. So I have my two right here. Whoops, kind of sticky, but that's okay. So we have it on one side, my other piece of tape stuck together, but that is okay. And we have it on this side. Okay, awesome. We have our one paddle. If you wanted to go on all four sides just to make sure for our all, they're all taped up, then you could. I'm just gonna do double two pieces of tape. That's all I need. And I'm gonna do that for both sides. Okay, so now we're gonna tape our craft sticks to the back. So this is to be able to hold the paddle. So we want to probably stick it to about the middle of the plate, about the center of the plate, a little under, depending on how long the stick or whatever it is that you use as your handle is, is where you want to make sure that when you lift it, like this, that you're able to, you know, hold it down here. So I'm gonna tape it to the inside of the plate so I have more of a flat surface in the back. So again, depending on what you use, maybe you have a different type of paper plate, maybe you're using cardboard, so you would kind of change that around. I think that if you were using like a box that you cut up, you wouldn't really need to worry about a side because both sides would probably be pretty flat. And I'm gonna tape my paddle and I'm going to do one more piece of tape back here because I don't wanna be able to go like this and then my paddle um, 
one sticks from here. So I'm gonna just do two pieces, I would say. The next one does not have to be so. Paddle number one, done. Now I'm gonna make my second paddle. Okay, now we have our two paddles. Now we're just gonna blow our balloon and we're ready to play. We're ready to play now. So typically what you would wanna do is have your opponent be on the other side of you and then you're going to paddle and hit this balloon back and forth. So if you wanted to join or if you had more people that wanted to join, just make more paddles and if you wanted to add another balloon and you had an extra one you add an extra one or you can do that paper foil or paper you know blank paper ball that would totally work too so this is kind of how it would work I'm gonna show you I don't have an opponent right now but you know I think it would work right now and it works so now you have your own game um, with material. Just before I end this, I also want to let you know that Girls Inc. is putting out some virtual programming for um, girls in Santa Paula. It's called Girls Club and it's a virtual summer program experience for girls ages 9 to 14. We have a limited space but it's all happening through Zoom starting June 8th and if you're interested I'll put my information here. You can always contact me and I'll send you over the um, registration online so that you can sign up your daughter or if you're the one that's watching and you want to sign up let your parents know. Thanks for watching. Bye!